Hey guys. I didn't want to make this video at first because I absolutely hate the idea of using tragedy to promote anything, even if you have something to say, because that just seems dishonorable and shitty. And generally, I'm quiet during these kinds of things. But as you know, this channel features a lot of things, history, fantasy, uh, but one of them is video game news. If you haven't heard the news already, there's been a shooting in Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, I actually heard about it from my mother. Uh, she called me uh, for one reason, because um, I like video games, but for another reason, uh, we used to live very close to there. Um, and it happened within the hour, or at least when she called me, which was an hour ago. So the last two hours, yeah. I might not be a fan of sports games, um, but uh, it happened during a Madden 19 uh, competition. From what I've heard, the shooter was a competitor that lost during the competition and uh, he had a gun. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm not going to make any political politicized opinion on anything. Um, however, this might make echoes in the gaming community. Uh, to think it's been two hours since it's happened and there's families that are going through hell right now. And for the next few months they will be as well. And it's all because a guy lost a video game match. I can't really ar articulate things well. Um, but this is just a video to get people to realize to just not start mobilizing on for or against a platform of anything and to just, to just feel, you know, to just have empathy. I mean, don't start crying out for one thing or another. Just come together because a lack of that is what causes this. A lack of feeling. And an overindulgence and rage. You know. I mean, yes, he probably had... The guy who shot people probably had a huge mental disability. But at the same time, small things can tip people over the edge and just... The point is, is that right now, what's needed is not arguments, but um, feeling and prayers for the families that are dealing with this, the people who are injured, and for the law enforcement and doctors that are right there helping them. You know, I know my mom called me because uh, she knows I, goes, I go to these kinds of things and, uh, you know, she's being a mother. And she's worrying about uh, if I ever went to one of these and then someone decided to bring a gun in, you know. That and the fact that we used to live there probably, you know, I mean, she worries about everything. But I know that's why she called me. I know it. And to think that, you know, there are moms out there and dads out there that aren't worrying about this sort of thing, but they're actually experience it, experiencing it right now. And... It's probably her text to me, actually. Um, yeah. That was my aunt, actually, who lives very close to there. Um, and her doing it in this video. <laughs> you know, she's texting me that because, you know, same thing about what my mom was worrying about. The point is, is that, please, just don't, don't bring up politics in this. At least not right away. I realize politics affects things. And, you know, we want to, we want to halt things. <sighs> you know, we want to halt tragedies like this. But, like, at, at the moment, you know, 
don't start bringing up grievances or hatred. Just like start realizing that it takes empathy to really halt stuff like this. All right. Thanks, guys.